asking me about Barcelona. Every, everybody just, seems to go to Barcelona these days. Well, I, I want to go to Madrid. You I, should. I, I'm going to right now. After, yeah, <laughs> after this. After this. Please. Yes, no, I love it over there. <laughs> cool. So how are you guys? Good. Good. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> this is my home. I opened it up for nice. the junket for today. Tidy and clean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what memories you guys have from, uh, from your prom night? Oh boy. You guys take mine so uneventful. I, yeah. I'll just start this off. I didn't go. You didn't go to prom. Oh, okay. I, I worked instead of going to prom. So take it away, guys. I went I went with a really good looking guy um who's who was like six five what? and and like like a like I a god. Six five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um he went on to win the Super Bowl. What are you talking about? He went on to become a, a professional football player. Are you player. allowed to name him or no? It's Jeff Thomason. <clears throat> you went to prom there are Jeff so Thomason. many Jeff Thomasons you know Jeff out there. Thomas? I know that. I know exactly he was a backup quarterback, right? Wait, no. I think he was a tight end. Mm -hmm. Only because we looked it up yesterday. Because we, <laughs> yeah, he was a tight end. He won a Super Bowl. He won the Super Bowl with, I forget which, which team. Oh, like, fair enough. Like, fair enough. It's okay. Like um, Philadelphia, maybe. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. So it's just this year. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, anyway, so they only yeah. won once. It was just this year. Just this year. Yeah. So if it was on Philadelphia. Oh wait, really? Year. Oh, because they've only won once. Yep. Okay, so it wasn't them. Maybe. Okay, so maybe so maybe we ruled out the Eagles. Ball. So it wasn't them. Wait, where? You started Pittsburgh, this. Pittsburgh. I know, man. It's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. You're you're Pittsburgh. Could have been. Could have been. Like when that would have been like okay. Okay. I went. I went three years. Um, and the thing that I took away the most was that I. I used my dead grandfather's name to order a bunch of alcohol oh. for the after party. And a few weeks later, my dad called me and goes, hey, I got a phone call from my friend who runs Sam's Liquor, and he said that my dad ordered a bunch of booze, which is weird because he died in 86. <laughs> I got in a lot That's of really trouble. Bad. I know, it was bad. I, dis wow. I disrespected the memory of the great man. And I'm embarrassed. Oh, well. Don't tell anyone this. <laughs> you guys, I mean, there's like this thing about the, the parents being overprotecting with with the girls because they're females. But in you guys kind of even though they're like they're trying everybody to be equal now that it's understandable that when you have a daughter as opposed to a boy, you're a little bit more concerned about them having sex for the first time. Or I think that's I think it's it's all kind of <clears throat> residual memory left over from kind of our parents and their parents and kind of their Puritan ancestors because you know there might be a more subconsciously you might be more protective of your daughter but we should be looking at them the exact same way they're both going to make choices we can't stop the choices they're going to make the best we could do is ask that they be safe and respect themselves mm -hmm. so i think that's kind of what we're trying to do yeah i feel like that totally for everyone else's kids but mine <laughs> <laughs> No, it Except is hard, but yes, I do respect, you know, their choices, and they're very smart girls, women. My, I have a 20-year-old, and... She's 20? I have a 20-year-old, oh, who's in God. London right now, just mm -hmm. by herself, and she met this really cute boy, Charlie. Hopefully, th she would kill me if she knew I was saying this. An English guy? And they went That's to Paris awesome. last minute. How fun is that? That's amazing. But she's a very, you know, I, I feel like comfortable with her doing that because she's... Do you she's, want me to, to talk to Charlie and just kind of get some info on him real quick, make sure he's on the level? Do you want me to talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I, I trust them to make good decisions and, and, you know, they're smart young women and it's all good. But, but I think probably the fact that we don't see equally 100% is because maybe a, a girl, a young girl can get pregnant as opposed to a boy that can like fool around and nothing happens. I'm just guessing, right. I know, I'm not a mother, so. That that's is, right. I think that's like That's where the, the smarts fair. come in. That's where the smarts come in. <laughs> that's where they say, no. Use a condom. Use a condom, or yeah. don't do it. Or don't have sex. Or do everything but, but we're splitting hairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. mm. Mm. Hair splitting indeed, Ike. <laughs> I think we don't have more time. Uh, Where is this interview going to be shown? Uh, the Paris uh, 